there, I'm Lisa and I'm the owner of Lollipop Box Club and today I am creating with the March kit. I'm using the little mini DIY kit that comes in this kit and we are going to be creating a frame. I've taken out the pieces here and basically we need the box as well. So I've already got one ready, let's pop this one to one side. I've taken off the letter that comes in the front and I'm going to be using this piece and this piece here. So I'm going to break it up and I'm going to use a pair of scissors just to separate into two pieces. I've got the two pieces here and I'm going to be trimming off all the odd bits and pieces here. Actually, let's do these as well. You can throw away all the little pieces you've just cut off and you're left with two tidy pieces. You can tidy up the edges afterwards, so don't worry too much. And they should roughly be about the same size. However, if you do have a larger one, that needs to be the one at the back. Okay, now I'm going to start by covering the back here. And I'm going to be using the flower paper. So this is going to be the back piece of my frame and I'm going to stick this in place. I've just used double sided tape to stick that in and now I'm going to create the frame. For my frame I'm going to use the paper inside the kit, obviously you don't have to, you could even paint it or use your own types of paper depending on what colour. I'm actually going to be doing it in the colours of the kit and I've decided that I'm going to stick this down first rather than cut out the frame. I think that will make my life a lot easier rather than trying to cover the shape of the frame. I'm going to stick this down and then I'm going to use my scissors just to trim around the outside to make it look nice and tidy. And now I'm going to do the same and just trim around the outside of this frame. To work out the actual width of the frame that you want, decide what you're going to put in your frame. I've decided to frame um, the postcard in the kit. I've also got the to-do list here and I thought I could even clip this here as well and actually have this as my to-do list in the day. Either way they're the same size so it won't actually matter. So I am then going to work out the width of the frame based on the size of the piece here. I've worked out that my best measurement is one and a half centimetre either side. I've gone through, I've decided to do it on the back so that I don't have the pencil marks and I've drawn in my lines and now I'm going to use the ruler and I'm going to use my craft knife and I'm going to cut out the centrepiece to give me my frame. check to see if your knife's gone all the way through. I've got a spot here where it hasn't so I'm just going to go over that again. You actually need to go over that about three times in the end so now this should just pop out and you've got your nice clean edges. There's your frame and then I'm going to be sticking this on here. I've decided to use 3D foam tape just to give myself a little bit of thickness like you would on a regular frame. I like using these sticky pads, I buy them from the works, they're $1.99 for a big wad of these and you also get a big roll which to be honest I don't tend to use the roll, it makes my scissors sticky but um, I pass it on to my little niece who likes crafting and I let her use that but I'm going to use this and then I can stick it in place. Sticky pads are ready. And I'm going to stick that down, there we go. Right, so here I've got a few little overlaps and to tidy that up, it's just a case of running over with your craft knife again. Okay, the frame's ready. If you want to create a stand for the back, I've taken the piece that was in the center and I folded it the top third there, I would say and using the sticky tape and then bending it back that will then stand nicely. I'm, I was going to use it sideways and have the quote in but actually I really like the idea of having my daily to-do list and actually I'm going to go with that. I've got the peg from the kit as well. I'm going to use a little bit of sticky tape but you can, a little bit of sticky tape, but you can use glue as well if you prefer. 
I'm going to stick that to the top there and that is going to hold my list in place and then I can change it daily as well depending on what I want. I don't want that there or in the centre. Actually let's pop that like that. That's a better angle for you isn't it? So now you can see it. It's standing on its own. Looks really quite sweet actually. And I've got my to-do list for the day. And I like this list because I've got space for my meals. I've got space for things that are priority to clean, to organize and the general to-dos. I always like to stick an extra something on my list that takes just a couple of minutes. Um, something like cleaning the cooker hood or something like just wiping over the front of the fridge. Just something extra on my to-do list every day. Um, it's amazing how just something that just takes a couple of minutes you just feel like such a sense of achievement when you've added an extra something to your list. So that's my little DIY this month. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I'm really happy with my little project and it's always fun to use the box as well. Thank you very much for joining me today. Please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this DIY video and um, I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye.